Hello guys, I am going to show you three different mullets for bee house. Um, the way I find out which I throw is based on my spawn. So if I have the best, bad, worst spawn, I'm going to throw this mullet that I'm going to show you right here. I'm going to show the two other spawns. It depends. It depends on if you have like a bad spawn, a decent spawn or a good spawn. So this is the bad spawn. What you just make is a small gap right here and you just run through the mullet like this. This molo is good because it lands fast and it's burning in these two corners, so you know they are not close. Um, also, this wall will protect you some, from some flashes if they flash early. Um, so if they push or something like that, you may touch some flashes because of the wall. Now, if you have like a decent spawn, something like this, um, you can throw the molo top that I call Sipnex. I call it Sipnex because I've seen it in his demos and he's throwing it a lot. So what you do, you just go like this, and when there's a gap between this, you just throw it like this. This molo is pretty strong because it will spread, so if they are peeking, they will take damage. And um, what you have to be careful about this mode, or molo tough, sir, is if they're going fast into this corner with a very good spawn, they might only take a few ticks from this molo tough. And if your short player is not calling that there's someone running in bee house or taking some damage to your molo tough, um, he can he can get a free kill on you if you're just like jumping truck or whatever. If you're either jump spotting or jumping on top of a truck to fight someone. Um, okay, so if you have one of the best bones, I would suggest you do this mullo. This mullo is really good because it's one of the deepest one you can throw. It's a little harder lineup, but it's fine. You go into this missile box like this. You see this brown dot, you aim to the left of it and you run through like this. It's going to be very deep, this Molotov. Um, if they peak, they're still going to burn. Um, and if they're pushing B, the guy who needs to smoke the Molotov is most likely not going to have his smoke out here already. So, um, and also, this uh, Molotov does so you can uh, jump spot very early if no one is taking damage in the Molo. This way, the window player, when he needs to rotate, he can see that the B player is jump spotting deep. So he can maybe just rotate uh, A. Yeah. So uh, that is pretty much it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Check out the links in the description. And thank you.